Just because you're not a professional chef, that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy delicious, wholesome meals that you'll enjoy time after time when you're out on the trail. And not all of them involve spending hours slaving over a stove to make either. Some of them are so simple, they just take a few ingredients and they're super quick to prepare. On this episode of Vegan Packer, idiot proof cherry rolls that are so easy to make, even I can do it on the first try. Just like everything else in this recipe, the ingredients and the equipment that we're going to need are really simple. For our ingredients, all we need are some frozen cherries, and I suggest using the frozen instead of fresh because you'll have to start pitting fresh ones if you get them that way. These frozen cherries that I'm using here are organic with nothing added. And then we'll also need some lemon juice. It's as simple as that. The first piece of equipment you'll need to make this will either be a food processor, blender, or Vitamix. I really think that a blender or a Vitamix is going to be superior in this case because we really want to have this product ground as smoothly as possible. And then of course we'll need a dehydrator. Starting with this 48 ounce or 3 pound bag of defrosted frozen cherries, I'm putting in one teaspoon of lemon juice just to brighten the flavor a little bit. After completely liquefying and making sure that the texture of your cherries are very smooth, all we need to do is pour it out into a fruit roll tray and distribute it so that it's no more than about a quarter of an inch thick at the most. Place it into the dehydrator. Set the temperature to about 140. Set the timer for 12 hours. And then after about eight hours or so, we're going to check on it and flip them over. After about 10 hours, I'm going to carefully peel these off of the sheets and flip them over. If you find that they're really stubborn and won't come off, that might mean that they're not quite ready yet. But this one looks pretty good. It's maybe just a little bit sticky on the back here, so that's why we're going to put it in for just a couple more hours and then it should be finished and ready for portioning. Out of the dehydrator, the only thing left to do is to cut it into your desired portions, put it into your storage container, and you're ready to bring it on the trail or anywhere you'd like to enjoy these delicious snacks. These fruit roll-ups will remain shelf-stable for quite some time, but if I'm not planning on using them for a while, I'll keep them in the freezer for good measure and then take them out when I'm ready to go on the trail. We've gone through the ingredients, equipment, and procedure for preparing your cherry rolls. Really, the only things that you have to remember for this recipe to turn out at its best are completely liquefy your cherries before adding them to the dehydrator trays. When removing the sheets from the dehydrator trays, carefully peel away the edges so that you don't rip the cherry rolls in an undesirable way. That's about all there is to it. I told you that this would be an easy one. See you next time.